Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cuts Reactions, and my name's Greg. And I thought I'd play something, uh, you know, I'd play a little video. I don't know if this will actually work or not. Sometimes I have real trouble playing videos because of my equipment. But, uh, you know, I've talked about before, you know, what, what makes up rock and roll music. You know, is it, you know, blues influence or gospel or jazz or, you know, whatever. And, you know, of course, in my mind, it takes up everything. And uh, this is a little thing by Arlo Guthrie. And uh, in this, he's he's at this music festival at Wolf Trap, I guess. And uh, he kind of talks about, you know, what is a folk song? And he gives this big, long rap, you know, if, you know how Arlo is. But uh, anyway, I thought it was really interesting and, and, uh, and really quite touching. I don't know. And by the way, his kids are there with him too so you know you can you can see them in the video but anyway let's go ahead and do it and uh as usual i don't own copyrights and here we go one, one time a few years ago <clears throat> i was over in denmark with pete and tao and we were playing over there at a folk festival, and it was after the wall in Berlin had come down, and it was a wild time to be over there. There was a sort of euphoric feeling, not just around that part of the world, but sort of all around the world, you know, and it seemed like, geez, it seemed like things might loosen up a little bit, and people could relax or something. It didn't last for long, but <clears throat> it was a wild feeling. And here we were playing at this folk festival over there, just a small little folk festival, and 30,000 people showed up. And not just Western, not just from Western Europe, but from all over Europe. Some of them too young to remember a time when they could just, you know, go down the road and hang out in some other town with some other folks, just have some beers and, you know, take it easy or something. So it was a wonderful thing. 30,000 people drinking German beer for three days. Singing and laughing and crying. And there was Pete up there, you know, just leading everybody in all these songs that, that used to be important in this country, you know, a couple of decades ago. All those we shall overcome type of songs. And everybody knew the words. That's Pete Seeger there. He was uh, one of the greatest folk musicians ever, ever. And uh, kind of the, carried the torch once uh, Woody Guthrie died. He carried the torch for a long time, and of course, Arlo's Woody's son. But anyway, let's go. And I think <laughs> I think they knew the words mostly due to people like Pete, who had never been afraid to go anywhere, sing for anybody, no matter what their persuasions were, political or otherwise. And, and it was an amazing moment to just be there. <laughs> Everything was all right. Everything was fine, as a matter of fact, until Pete looked at me and said, Harlow, why don't you sing something? <laughs> and I realized that Pete had just sung all of the songs I thought anybody might know. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I said, well, here's one you might know, you know, because there's more than one ways that songs gets around. Made popular by that king of folk singers, Elvis Presley. Pete looked at me. <laughs> Seemed like a nice guy most of the time. <laughs> he had a look in his eye that said that banjo could get fairly dangerous any moment. <laughs> We'd been singing them peace and love songs for decades, but folk singers would argue themselves to death years ago over what a folk song was. Didn't stop me or nothing, but I went like this. <laughs> I 
was feeling safer. <laughs> then Pete got up, walked up to the microphone. I didn't know what he was gonna say or nothing, you know. He didn't say nothing. Just started playing it on the banjo. That's when I realized that Pete knew it too. <laughs> Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? Like in the river flows, surely to the sea, God, and so it goes, someday. Also, I learned a little bit about what folk songs was about, and even what they're not about. Because sometimes they're not even about anything. I mean, here we were singing an old Elvis tune that didn't have much to say about the state of the world or something like that, but boy, more was being said by who was singing it and how they were feeling than trying to sing lots of songs that try and say a whole lot of stuff, you know? So maybe you help me sing this old Elvis tune. I'll give you the words, like Pete would. <laughs> it's easy. Wise men say. Wise men, only fools rush in. Only fools rush in. But I can't help falling in love with you. But I. That's uh, like I say, you know, I think it's a very, very touching performance, and uh, it it was really fun to see his his kids there. You know, I I don't know if you could recognize who they were. It was pretty obvious to me they looked just like Arlo. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty neat thing, and 
course, Arlo is one of my favorites, you know, he's, uh, I don't know, I can relate, <laughs> but anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for coming over, and uh, hit like, subscribe, and we'll be back soon, and play something or another, don't know what yet, but thanks a lot, bye-bye.